This is the story about two children who love to fight. It was a normal July the 24th when Jack's friend, Therese, came to his house uninvited. She asked Jack if he could give her singing lessons. Jack decided the best advice would be to listen to a good CD. Where's the disc? Where's the disc? Where's the disc? Where's the disc? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, there it is. But when he went out to get the CD, I recommend you listening to some Crush Freud. This made Jack very puzzled. So the next day, he decided to ask one of his friends, Kyla Bell, to work on a short film so that he could get his mind off what happened. Oh no, offense! What? What did I say? Oh no, offense! What am I gonna do? Don't worry, I can fix it! There. All fixed. Am I imagining things? Meanwhile, the god Gibnor got a job at a pizza delivery service. Y'all, it's pizza time. What? Yeah, I'm just going for the job experience at the pizza shop. I'll see you later. Oh, okay, see you later. It's rhyme time! But when he came back from the job, his little sister disappeared. My long punch! Oh, where'd you go? Oh, where'd you go? So the god Gibner went to a concert to get his mind off things, but the singer at the concert, well, I think you can guess the rest. From here on, the story continues. news just in. All of the four girls who were stolen in the past 72 hours have now been identified as Kyla Bell, Therese, Helen and Angel. Hello there, Luke. How did your training go? It went great. I stole five girls. My god, that's a terrible thing to do. What did you do that for? Because I'm trying to seek attention from my enemy, Max. His boss is Paul Caffrey. Say no more, Dan. That was a terrific idea. You are actually helping me to get closer to that Paul. I won't ever let him in my country. That's for sure. So when I get rid of Max, I'm gonna let the girls free. I have to, they're not mine to keep. I have to let them live their life. But how am I going to attract Max to me? How about you do a fashion show and advertise it internationally? I think that's a good idea. Perfect, I'll set that up now. See you. Okay, Luke, and remember, if you're making a phone call to me, the name is Miko. That's great. Okay, good luck, Luke. So, that's all of the five girls missing, including my niece, Isabella Caffrey. I thought Isabella was Jack! No, her name is Isabella, okay? Anyway, enough bickering about. This is a disaster. We have to do something about this. I know, crazy, right? Who did this? Your enemy, Luke! What? How do you know? I was able to hack into Mario TV Studios, CTTV, and look what I saw! There's one of the girls drinking a coke in Studio S1. There's footage of Luke singing. He's got a rubbish voice. And there's footage of Action John, my enemy. We have to stop this. Don't worry. I was able to track the message from the Mario TV broadcast. Didn't go off air. I heard this. So, he's going to put up posters at Oakview Park. So, go to number 41, Oakview Park tomorrow. That's the busiest spot in the area. He should be showing posters everywhere in that location. Okay, I'm on my way. See you later. Oh, by the way, don't forget my code name. It's Agent Poopface.
need to poop first. I'm in your corn. What do you want to do? I want you to stay hidden. The enemy could be nearby. I have to intercept him somehow. Just do what you're told. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to eat my bananas with some gin and cookies. Noise. What should I do? Don't move a muscle. If someone comes over, fight against them as best as you can. Okay, I'll try to do that now. See you later. Hey, Jeff Face. How are you doing? Wait, actually, how did the lovely girls do that you stole? I think they're doing great. I guess the feed them. They fell to the ground in delight. Yeah, sure. I'm sure they want to run away from you. Are you just saying that to get your girlfriend back? My man was my girlfriend. I locked away your man. It's all over now. Day five of being just in the house. Uh. Do you know what? I'm just calm, Jack. Right? It's, 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 uh, right. Uh, into that. Look at how they massacred my boy. Hello? Hello, it's me. How are you doing? Ah, uh, how does it feel to be held captive? Feeling horrible. What else do you expect? Ah, yeah, I see. And um, how, how are the lovely girls doing? Yeah, everyone's doing good. Except Kyla Bell. I don't know what happened to her. She just seems to be a little delusional at the moment. A little crazy. Maybe she's just a little frightened and so she just is putting on this persona. I, I have no idea. Really? Well, that's not good. Might need to go to the dentist for that. Jack, you don't bring them to the dentist. Anyway, how did you get into this mess in the first place? Well, basically how I got into the mess was because, you see, you already know about the story of Ellen and Kyla Bell and all the others disappearing. Uh-huh. Now, you see, they were originally held captive at the Carlo Convention Center, which is actually where the Lovey Girls show is happening. Uh, but they were moved here because uh, I had contact with all the girls, as you know, because I know them all. And uh, Luke didn't really want any more spread. So probably what I'm going to do, I'm going to get all the girls to make this kind of like we wish you look thing for Max and I'm going to escape the Mario TV studios and I'm going to meet Max and blah blah. Anyway, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Uh, I might drop over a pizza tomorrow. 
Okay, Jack, I'll let you off. Uh, just to let you know that um, I won't be at the door to collect the pizza, and neither will Luke, because he's actually hired a bouncer to basically well, make sure no one actually gets into the Mario TV studios and so that we can't get out. So just be aware of that, okay? Oh, yeah, I'll be aware of that. All right, see ya. Bye. 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 I can't beat this lad. What a long day. Busy doing nothing. Oh, this is singing is affected. Four in the morning. How long can you go before your voice is blown? <laughs> what? Who changed my clothes? I did. Not you again. Yeah, it's me. Now I've got a bit. <laughs> Let's race. If I win. You forfeit, and I get the girls. But if you win, I get the girls back. Where to? Mario TV Studios. Alright then, let's go. See you later, sucker! No, 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 this is illegal! But if I want to win, I have to drive! It's a pizza man! Oh, you're back. So 
another house where I don't get paid for. It's eight in the morning, and guess what? Good news! Now I'm a girl, according to Luke, and my name is Isabella, and I'm going to wear a mini skirt at the fashion show. I mean, that's just brilliant news, isn't it? Not. And not only that, look here. So because Jack came over to get delivered some pizza, there's now a new lock, and I can't get out because you have to have a little key to get out. But he hasn't given the key to me. <laughs> you know, just don't talk to me. I'm going to drink some Toro last night, and I feel better after. Those Toro Rosses didn't do me any good. Maybe I'll have to play a couple of games instead. Might be a bit better. Maybe it relaxes. At least you'll be on one more day of this mess. I'll be all right. No, 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 no. Come on now, come on. A dressing room. A dressing room. Now, Luke didn't do this. I know damn well who did. Why did you turn my gaming room into a dressing room? Well, I thought everyone needed to get ready for the fashion show and not get distracted by fun and games. But we already have a dressing room! Three, actually! You didn't need to make another one! Anyway, that's not the main question. Where did all the games go? The 2,000 euro worth of games, by the way. I put it in a safe place. And where is that safe place? Um, actually, I don't remember. Wow, it's so safe that you can't even find it, right? <laughs> Listen, I've added up to Hugh and Luke and all the fashion show stuff. Do you realize that that fashion show is nothing but just a con? <gasps> it's designed for Luke's enemy Max to face off Luke in a fight for victory. It's quite obvious that you follow the news and all the other things which happened in the media and the social medias and all that good stuff. Not to me. Okay then, it seems that you're a little out of touch with the whole Max and Luke bad boys thing, so... I'm just going to give you a quick, brief history lesson. Ever since 2017, Max and Luke have been two kids which have hated each other. They have no reason to, they just do. They're known as the bad boys because they like to fight so dangerously, and not only did they put them in danger, but they also put others. The last time they fought, Max did an RKO and severely injured Luke. So for revenge purposes, Luke has stolen all of us to seek attention from Max so he can face him off once and for all. Now you understand why? You made that story up to convince me not to compete, right? Kyla, it's quite obvious I'm not. Why don't we just compete in the fashion show, right? Kyla! Ah, oh, come on, it'll be great! Kyla, though, we're not doing a fashion show! <sighs> But we might as well. What could possibly go wrong? We get to show off ourselves looking absolutely brilliant. So what if that Max guy comes to crash the show? We're still the stars. And that Luke guy is such a nice kid. Oh really? So you think that Luke punching people through sheds is okay? Yes, he's just so confident that I'll do so well at the fashion show. And that song my dad eats a Jaffa cake? Oh my, it's brilliant. It will chart one day. But you think that song I produced for him in 15 seconds is good? Oh, well, listen to the outro of that song. It really makes you feel your emotions about funny bunnies. that song for him. Isn't it great? He must have gone crazy ever since this fashion show malarkey. What? I'm looking forward to the fashion show. I don't think I've gone crazy. Then if you don't think you've gone crazy, tell me how this magical unicorn fairy tale fashion show is so great. Because I feel like a princess when I'm preparing for the fashion show. Oh really? And when I was younger, I always wanted to be a princess. So competing in this fashion show made it feel like it was my time to shine. And you know what? Don't you dare say that being stuck in a building really makes me feel like I'm a princess. Don't tell me she's gonna do another musical number. Life is a beautiful, wonderful miracle. From the moment we're born, each life is.
something over there. Gate now opening. So that's what that noise was. The force field will turn back on in 10 seconds. I won't be able to run there in 10 seconds and there's only one thing I can do. The backwards log jump. Two 
hours. I'll be back after the show. Get out! Come on to save you! What about you, Nicholas? How are you? Alright, you know, they're, they're fine, but uh, I made a video and this is what they, they, they've said. Hey Max, we made this video for you today to let you know. Although Luke hasn't done anything bad, we don't agree we should let him take anyone else for the crack. Just say Luke is the enemy and you have to go beat him. What? Just get us out of this mess. Now go out there and show Luke what you're made of. The only limit to your abilities is my editing skills. Good luck. When did you make that video? Made two hours ago. Everyone stop Luke! Yes, it is. Tell me, why did you do all this in the first place? I just wanted to tell you, I don't like fighting you all the time. Wait, what? Could we be friends? Yes, we can, of course. What? That's the worst thing you can do. Why would you befriend your enemy? Yeah, that's terrible. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Mario TV News can confirm that the bad boys, who were responsible for the Carlo Convention Center controlled explosion, are now best friends and have dropped both their engines, Action John and Paul. One of our reporters was able to find out Action John's thoughts. So, what do you think of Luke axing you as his agent? Luke and Max, my abs. You heard it here first. In other news, the several girls who were stolen by one of the bad boys, Luke, have all been returned to their homes. The girls reported to our news center saying that they are now doing great and have never been better before. And that's it for the Mario TV News at 9 o'clock. We will have more news tomorrow at 1 o'clock. I'm Jack Caffrey. Goodbye. And so, the story concludes.
man. Love is a magical, mystical power. We don't need a bit of happiness. Follows love wherever it goes. And maybe my greatest dream seems impossible. Just as long as there is love. Yeah.